Hi, this is Ben Gelfand from Technique Peak. Today I want to go over a capsular stretching technique for your hip patients and for the hip joint. Um, layer one and layer two, which we've talked about, but the bony layer and then the inert soft tissue layer of the hip, um, they're similar techniques to address both of those. But in order to get good mechanics, we need to make sure that the capsule is flexible enough, is supple enough, that it allows for normal orthokinematics. So I, I figured we should go over that today. Alrighty, there are several ways of doing it. I like to do um, the joint mobilization. It's a posterior to anterior glide. I like to do it on her stomach. And we just have to watch out for any back pain. So, right now, Kim, do you mind going on your stomach? And what we're going to do here, we're going to do a little bit of joint mobilizations, not manipulation, but mobilizations trying to uh, get your joint to be more loose and more normal in its movements. I put that, the pillow under there just because I want to make sure that we don't cause any back pain or back problems. And I'm going to put this right under your knee and for that reason i just want to make sure number one that it's not causing any back pain because you're in in this position and i like the the towel underneath here because it brings it it brings the femoral head slightly forward and therefore puts some stress on to the anterior capsule already this is mostly to increase anterior capsule flexibility so it's really about external rotation and a p to a glide so within with kim and again, you're touching uh, in somewhat sensitive areas, so you want to make sure that they're okay with you touching. Kim, is it okay if I poke around here? Yeah. Okay. So number one, as I've said before, it's really important to know your anatomy and your landmarks. So this is her greater trochanter, and I can feel it ro rolling uh, in and out of my fingers. Okay, and that's I'm just doing this now just to get my bearings. So it's really nice, that greater trochanter, because it acts like a nice table or a platform. So now I go from my finger, to my palm, okay, you stay right there, and I'm gonna push away her cheek. I'm pushing away as much soft tissue as I can and resting right on the greater trochanter, probably even a little bit on the posterior aspect of the femoral neck too. And so I'm pushing straight down, and this is where adjusting, she's at a good uh, adjustment, uh, table height, but if you, ha if you have to get up on a step, so you can get up straight up or if you have to lower or raise the table but it's important mechanics and direction is important so here I am as I said by push back pushing straight down and now as I'm pushing down as far as I can till I hit a capsular end feel and then I hold it there and then how do we take up the rest of the slack we go into external rotation and in doing so I will feel her greater trochanter being pushed into my hand as they go into external rotation. That pushback is from a tight capsule. So we want to make sure that we push back equally, push into that PA glide to counteract any, any um, pressure into my hand. And it's very important because as we're doing stuff in the anterior hip, it's very important that we get feedback from the patient. So does this bother you at all, Kim? Okay. Um, do you feel any pain? Do you feel anything in the front inside of your hip? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to go a little further, and that's what I do want. So let me know when you feel it. And e either she's going to report it, or right now that's about all I get. So now, either or between my right hand and my left hand, we're at a bit of a stalemate, and that's when I know that we're getting all the stress and stretch through the anterior capsule, whether she's reporting it or not. She could also say, when I'm over here, oh, I feel it, that's enough, don't go further. Um, but if she's not saying anything, you're going to go by your feel between the two. And that is your technique peak for an anterior capsule stretch using a posterior to anterior uh, glide in prone. That's your technique peak, and I hope that it helps. Thank you.